So if you clicked on this video, it's probably because you're looking for a baby bassinet and have no clue which one to choose. Well, I'm here to make your life a little bit easier by reviewing the Halo Bassinet Glide Sleeper. So stick around as I review five pros and cons I experienced while using this bassinet. My name is Cassandra Sisson and I review baby and parenting products to help the challenges of parenthood decision making just a little bit easier for you. I also share blogs and inspirational stories to keep you inspired as parents. So if that's your thing, make sure to subscribe. I chose this glider because I planned on breastfeeding and the thought of the glider sliding easily on and off the bed made the thought of breastfeeding throughout the night a little bit easier for me. So I added it to my baby registry on Amazon and the price can range between $150 to $175. There were five things that I really, really liked about this glider. The first thing is that it had an adjustable height. I can adjust the glider to properly fit me so it can make it more comfortable for me to pick up the baby and place her back into the bassinet. The second thing I liked about it is that it had a nice pouch on the side of the bassinet. So I was able to put diapers, wipes, bottles, pacifiers, anything that I felt that can help me throughout the day or nighttime just to get through because those first three months are hard. So any little thing is a huge help and that basket really did help me out. The third thing that I really liked about it was the mesh that surrounded it. So it's very breathable. So once my daughter started to learn how to toss and turn and of course her face inevitably ended up against the bassinets, I never had to worry because I know she can always breathe right through it, a lot of air flowing in and out and that she was safe. The fourth thing I liked about it is that you can upgrade it yourself. Of course, these things are extra, they're separate purchases, but they do have accessories that are offered to it. So make sure to check my links below because I did add the links to those accessories along with other ones that I think might help you out as well. The last thing I liked about it is that the name really does give it away. It glides anywhere, really simple. However, I do have laminate throughout my entire house, no rugs, so I don't know how easy or if it's not easy to glide on top of rugs. But as far as laminate or tiles, it glides super simple and it does protect your floor. You won't get any scratches or anything like that. Okay, so what don't I like about the bassinet? The first thing, yes, it does have an adjustable height. However, you have to press a button and then push it up and down and that button can get pretty rough to hold. So sometimes I really, really had to push on it and give it a good tug for it to release and move up and down nicely. So that can be a, a, a bit of a challenge. So the second thing I didn't like about it, it has no extra features. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, what called out to me was the fact that it glided front and back, up and down. And I thought it was gonna be something that helped me throughout the night. But I realized, at least from my experience, that was not the biggest thing that I needed. I actually didn't realize how much something that swayed or vibrated or played white sound would have on my daughter. And actually the, the fact that it glided on my bed wasn't a big help for me at all. The third thing I didn't like about it, and you'll see in the accessories that I placed on the bottom is, is extra mattress parts because the mattress is very thin. So when they're a newborn and they're, let's say five to seven pounds, not a big deal. But once they go up to like 10, 15 pounds, this bassinet can hold up to a baby up to 20 pounds. And 15 is starting to get there. It is rough on them. It is not, there's not much cushion. It's very thin. So I ended up putting lots and lots of blankets over it to give her a little bit more fluff and more comfort throughout the night because I can tell she was starting to get uncomfortable. It did not feel great on her. So either when you purchase this one, either buy a thicker mattress for it or prepare to put layers on top of it because it is thin and as they start to gain weight, it's not gonna be very comfortable for them. So the fourth thing I didn't like about it, it's actually pretty big. It's about 20 inches in width and about 30 inches in length. I have a queen size bed and sleeping next to my husband, me, and having to slide the bassinet over took quite a bit of the bed. So I ended up not being able to bring it all the way to help me throughout the night. So I ended up just bringing it right to bed length, which still made me have to get up, adjust, pull the baby up. So 
what I thought in my mind was gonna be this great idea and this great process of it being on my bed and stuff, it actually didn't work out because it was too big. The last thing that I didn't like about it, my couches had recliners, so it had all that material on the bottom, so I couldn't glide it to my couch to bring it close to me to make it a little bit easier. So everything I dreamed about this glider that I was gonna enjoy, I actually didn't get to enjoy it at all and it didn't work for my benefit. That doesn't mean that Halo is a bad product. I like the bassinet. My daughter, every time she was in there, I felt like it was a good sturdy bassinet. I felt that she was safe, she was protected. It did everything that it said it was gonna do. However, it is the basic model. Halo comes out with a wide range of different bassinets. If I go with baby number two, I do want to stick with that line because I really like the Halo. I want to look at their swivel bassinets. Those have all the extra features that I realized I actually needed, not just the, the gliding part. It has the music, it has the vibrations, it swivels side to side. A lot of, lot of features that I realized benefit me more for, for a baby compared to just being able to glide up and down. That wasn't what I needed at the end of the day. Those bassinets can range between 200 to 350. So depending your budget and what you find to be a priority of what you think you're gonna need, that may or may not be a good fit for you. So I hope this review helped you. Make sure to check all my links below. Like I said, I, I'm gonna put all the bassinets from Halo down there along with accessories that they personally make and other branded ones that I think might be a good fit for you. Just check them out, keep an open mind, try to think outside the box because what you think you might need actually might not be what you end up using once your baby's actually in your arms and you're experiencing those long days and long nights with them. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram at o.mother and on Facebook at ks.omother. See you next week and don't forget to tell yourself every morning you are an amazing parent and you're doing a great job.